بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Gentlemen and girls, it's my pleasure time to be with you this uh, for this is lesson for Michwalla uh, for five, which is talking about uh, amazing animals, and the syllabus is referring to mega goal. As you see here, gentlemen, we have here mega goal four. Okay, unit uh, four and unit five here, but we have mega goal for unit five. Amazing animals, okay, we have talking about uh, listen and discuss the first section of uh, unit 5 in mega goal What I wanna from you Gentlemen and uh, girls. I wanna all of you to open your books on page 68 and 69 and you have to follow me what I'm going to talk about and how can I explain this unit uh, to you? Okay, we have in this unit many goals the first thing what i want you to look at these goals as you see here in this unit we are we, we have to cover all of these sections in this unit we have we are talking we have to talk about vocab vocabulary like animals and animal cares behavior functions asking for advice and giving advice a grammar passive models and passive with reporting verbs all of these we are going to talk about it listening activity also you are able to practice listening all of these sections we have to talk about it inshallah in this lesson and in the lesson that will come later on okay what i'm going to explain it to you inshallah also pronunciation we are talking reading writing and for meaning and function all of these sections gentlemen make it easy for you and i will do my best to make it so easy for you what i want from you i want you pay attention to this and what i'm going to talk it about it then it will be so easy for you just follow me and open your box on page 60 and 69. the first one amazing animal this is the title of this unit amazing animal that means amazing animal that means abnormal okay unusual animal for example wild animal like lion tiger cheetah whatever chimpanzee uh, monkey whatever you, you want from uh, different kind of animals elephant okay that means amazing animal that you cannot imagine that uh, or you don't believe it that that kind of animal be friendly be friendly with human being this is what our title is talking about discuss and uh, listen here we have many uh, questions here the first question gentlemen and girls here we have in what ways are animals similar to humans they are communicate do you think that human can communicate with animals do you do you think that or do you believe it that or not okay how are they different okay do you think animals and humans can communicate in which cases also and how also here we have which story do you think is the most interesting and why i'm going to apply and i'm going to show you many stories okay about this uh, kind of animal or this uh, amazing animal at the end of this uh, listen inshallah i wanna to evaluate also yourself and the self-reflection about the amazing animals of this unit okay here we have what is that it's the king a king of what a king of zoo a lion do you think it's a friendly he's a friendly or not do you think lion is a friendly to people of course it is not a friendly but amazing and abnormal cat like that one could be only but don't believe that a lion is a is a is a friendly no he's very very dangerous don't trust and don't uh, believe that somebody told you or somebody to, uh, tell you that a uh, lion he's friendly no 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 it's difficult for you okay to say that something like that okay the second one what about this one chimpanzee okay or we call it gorilla gorilla you know gorilla gorilla friendly or not there is uh, there are many studies about that cases they talk about gorilla and they can communicate with human being okay and the study 
it, it's done by Benny. He, he talked about that, that this gorilla can be, can be communicate with the people in sign language and can communicate more than 1,000 words, okay? Also, they can communicate with um, uh, abstract word and uh, concrete word. Also, they can communicate with, uh, with, uh, with more than, uh, th than concrete words, 2,000 words that he can communicate with people. Okay, here we have, this is, uh, it's, it's a nice story about this one, gentlemen and girls, okay. I will let you to listen to this one. This is, it is in America, in Pennsylvania, in, in the USA. If this uh, animal, we call it uh, groundhog, we call it groundhog, and they call it also bus, uh, buscatani, buscatani. This buscatani, when it comes out from the hole, and if he, sh if he sees his shadow, okay, that means for the people in that area, think that the winter or the weather of the winter, okay, it will be still cold for six weeks and they don't know, they don't go outside of their home, okay. But if there is no shadow for it, okay, that means the winter has gone and the spring will come. This is, it's a tradition, okay, and they, they put a, a day for this, we call it ground hot, okay. You will see it, inshallah, by playing this uh, story for him. What about this? Miser, okay, or mouser. Mouser or, this is, where, where can we find this one? Believe it or not, gentlemen, this is, we can find it in the Prime Ministry of England, okay, in the office of Prime Ministry. And what is his job? His job to catch mice, to catch mice, okay? This is to catch mice. It's, it's the purpose of his job, okay? And, you know, there are many, uh, many, many, many cats like that, okay? The first one, it is, uh, his job exactly started from 1986, okay, until 1970, uh, 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 19, 1997, and he retired, and the, someone, uh, we call it, uh, Lisbon, it came 2007. We will see with each other what are going on this, uh, about these pictures with the uh, next slide. Okay, this is about the first one. Okay, we can open your box of play, uh, please on page 68. Look at this picture and try to follow this one and listen it, to uh, listen it, listen it carefully, okay? Then we have to pay attention for it. Punxsutawney Phil is easily the most famous groundhog in the world. Phil lives in the small U.S. town of Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, and is cared for by the townspeople. However, every February 2nd, Phil is placed in the ground at Cobbler's Knob, where he carries on a tradition that is over 100 years old. Many people believe the length of the winter can be predicted on this day, called Groundhog Day. It is said that on this day, when Phil emerges from his hole, if he sees his shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter weather. If Phil does not see his shadow, spring will arrive early. Can the duration of winter really be predicted by a groundhog? No. Probably not. But the town has a great time celebrating this tradition. Yes. Okay, as you see here, gentlemen and girls, you see here, we have here, we can say, okay, here we have this one, you see, this is we have, more than six. Six of what? Six weeks. You see, gentlemen? This is six weeks. Okay. And there is also a, a day. They graduated as a, a day for it. They celebrated by a national day for it, or it is a, a day to celebrate it. Okay. This is, we call it uh, about this one. Okay. We have to move to the other slide. Okay. The second one, please. Okay, here we have a question, gentlemen and girls. What kind of animals is pictured in this photo? Okay, you see, as I told you, ground hawk and wh how, what is the, his name? Okay, as I told you, okay, it is the name is there. Okay, how can we pronounce it? 
But uh, Banks, Banks Tony, Banks Tony, we call it Banks Tony, okay? This is the name for this uh, animal, okay? The second one, sorry for that, okay? We have to delete this one. All right. Unit five. Okay. Now we have to move to the other slide, which is talking about uh, coca or coca gorilla. It's 35 years. Listen and pay attention for it. Unit 5. In Coco developed a lifelong, although the study was only supposed to last a couple of years, Patterson and Coco developed a lifelong bond and have been working together ever since. Coco began by five-year-old gorilla who uses human sign language. Coco was taught sign language by psychologist Penny Patterson when Coco was just a baby. Patterson had been studying whether gorillas could be taught to communicate. Although the study was only supposed to last a couple of years, Patterson and Coco developed a lifelong bond and have been working together ever since. Coco began by learning basic words like eat, drink, and more, and eventually learned abstract ideas such as love, jealous, and shame. It is believed that Coco can sign over 1,000 words and that she understands about 2,000 spoken words. Yes. Coco is also famous for having had pet kittens. She has always been extremely gentle and affectionate with her kittens. Unit 5. Okay, as you see here, gentlemen and girls, we, he, uh, this, uh, this animal, this Coco uh, Gorilla, can sign over language body, okay, or uh, sign language more than 1,000 words. Also, uh, spoken language or spoken words, it can be 2,000 words, okay. We have here the name of Gorilla and the age, okay, we have the name and the age, which is uh, 35. We have Unit five. to move... Unit to move the other one, which is talking about this, uh, my uh, cat, we call Unit it. Unit five. The abs and shame. In England, there has been a mouser at the Prime Minister's. She has always been extremely gentle and affectionate with her kittens. Now we have this a one. A mouser is a cat that is kept for the purpose of catching mice. In England, there has been a mouser at the Prime Minister's residence for centuries. The most popular of these cats was a stray named Humphrey, who, in 1989, was the first cat to receive the official title Chief Mouser to the Cabinet Office. His care cost £100 and was paid from the department's budget. It was said to be far cheaper than the fees previously paid to exterminators, Humphrey, who was beloved in the UK, retired in 1997. The current mouser, named Sybil, took office in September of 2007. You see, gentlemen and girls, here, here we have, as you see, gentlemen, here we have, we have here Humphrey, okay, this one, the name of the old, uh, the, the, the previous one, and he started his work from 1989, okay? And he works at the Prime Minister residence for the centuries. Okay, this is it can be founded in that office. Okay, and what is his job exactly? The purpose of his job is catching mice. Okay, and also here, gentlemen, we have to find a new one which is beloved in UK, uh, UK that United Kingdom we call it. Okay, this one uh, Humphrey, uh, Humphrey Humphrey retired at 19. Uh, 97 and the new one which is named is uh, uh, Sybil it uh, he can start his work at 2009 what is his job exactly to to uh, catching mice okay we have to the other slide okay Here we have many, uh, the name of it, and this is the uh, slide. Okay, we have this slide. It's talking about uh, line. Unit five. Chief Mouser to the Cabinet Office. Endel and Anthony Burke saw a real live lion. To be far, 
His care cost 100 pounds and was paid from the department's budget. Yes. It was said to be far cheaper than the fees previously paid to exterminators. Humphrey, who was beloved in the UK, retired in 1997. The current mouser, named Sybil, took office in September of 2007. Okay. One day in 1969, yes. John Rendell and Anthony Burke saw a real live lion. Yes, what's wrong? In cub in a London department store window. Feeling that a lion should not be kept this way, they bought him and took him home to live in Rendell's basement. The lion, whom they named Christian, is said to have been an affectionate and extremely cooperative cat who even used a giant kitty litter box. Christian was pampered. He was brought on drives, strolls through the neighborhood, and even to restaurants. But when Christian grew to almost 200 pounds, 90 kilograms, it was decided that he should be released into the wild. Christian was brought to Africa, where he adapted to life in the wild and eventually became the leader of a group of lions. A year later, Rendell and Burke traveled to Africa to say goodbye. They were warned that Christian would not remember them. However, when Christian saw his old friends, he ran towards them, stood on his back legs, and joyfully gave each of them a long and loving embrace. Yeah, lovely embrace. That means a big hug between animal and this uh, kind of uh, animal with other people. Oh, okay, this is the name of a lion. Okay, here we have to match between this. Uh, here we have uh, we have uh, residence. It means with D. We have D here, okay? Place where someone lives, okay? Number B, we have. Number two, we have a bond with uh, E. Uh, connection between two things, okay? Uh, duration, we have B. It could be length of time. And abstract, if relating to the ideas of feelings. Uh, number five, uh, Bumber, which is referring to C, intelligent. And the adopted, which is referring to number one, adjusted to someone new. Okay, uh, here we have gentlemen, um, any other questions? Okay, we have uh, to stop here because the time is limited and thank you for your listening and inshallah we will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.